pulled up. What up, drunken chef in the house? Hey, in this next video, you're gonna see a second cook that I did uh, a few weeks back uh, when I was entered into the uh, barbecue pit masters of YouTube. This was a second steak cook that I did um, that same weekend. Um, it didn't make the cut, but it's all good. Still came out great. Still came out juicy. Go ahead and check out this video. Let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace. beautiful chuck roast steak what we're gonna go ahead and do is hit it with a little bit of olive oil and get it on all sides top bottom all the way around we're gonna flip it over we're gonna hit it with a little more get it all nice and coated looking lovely looking lovely we then hit it with uh, some cracked salt and cracked pepper got a nice little heavy coat of that Then we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna repeat the process, but first we're gonna go ahead and pat it in. Like I said, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna hit it with some more salt and pepper. Now we're only doing the top and the bottom. Now some might call this a rookie mistake, but I did the same exact thing in my filet mignon, the video that was posted for that competition. For me, I think salt and pepper on top and bottom is the only thing you need. I like that uh, steak flavor more than I would like to have uh, all that seasoning. A little bit of salt, pepper, that's all you really need. So here's the, the grill. We're going to do it on the indirect side. We're going to cook it up for about an hour until we get to about 125 degrees. We're going to go ahead and pull it and we're going to let it rest for about 30 minutes. Welcome back to the channel, Drunken Chef in the House. So in today's cook, we did a chuck steak. This is my entry to the Barbecue Pit Masters of YouTube. It's hosted by Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. Go ahead and head over to his channel and check out um, in his community page, the rules and all, all, all the other channels that are involved in this competition. Today I'm going up against Gorilla Joe's Barbecue. Go ahead and head over to his channel, check out the steak that he's got going on and uh, go vote on, on Smoking Joe's uh, channel. Just to do a quick recap on what we did, I went ahead and uh, grabbed some olive oil Spread it over the top and bottom. Get some cracked salt and pepper. That's all it really needs. Uh, threw a little bit of uh, hickory wood chunks in there. Got a little bit of smoke on it. I had the two outside ones on. Set the steak in the middle and uh, put them both down low. And just brought it up to about uh, 130 degrees. Brought it back inside. And uh, it's been sitting here for about 15, 20 minutes now. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and slice into this, see what it looks like, give it a little taste. And this will be my entry. Here we go. Cut a couple slices more. Still nice and juicy. Nice thick slice. Got some fattiness on the inside of that. Still very hot, you can see the juice. Let's go ahead and cut one more slice, and this will be my piece that we're gonna taste. Uh, so it is a little uh, more on the medium side than the medium rare that I wanted. That's okay. You can still see how juicy and tender this is. Let's go ahead and get a little bite. Mmm. There's so much flavor right there. All you need is salt and pepper. That's all you need when it comes to a steak. That is very, very tasty, very flavorful. A little more cooked than my liking, but it's still good. For those that like more of a medium, uh, medium steak, this is the perfect way to go. So if you like what we did here today, go ahead and head over to Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue and vote for Drunken Chef. Until you see us on the next one, peace.